If you are someone who's working in the healthcare domain, Google just announced two new models for the healthcare domain. So Google calls these models as Health AI Developer Foundation models. So Health AI Developer Foundation is a collection of lightweight open models designed to offer developers robust starting points for their own health research and application development. Because these models are open, developers can retain full control over privacy, infrastructure and modifications to the models. So previously, they had introduced MedGemma, which is a collection of generative models based on Gemma 3. Now to this collection of Health AI Developer Foundations, which had included previously MedGemma 4 billion and 27 billion parameter models. The 4 billion parameter model was multi-model, whereas the 27 billion parameter model was text only. Now they have added two more models to this collection. The first is MedGemma 27 billion multi-model, which complements the previously released 4 billion multi-model and 27 billion text only models by adding support for complex multi-model and longitudinal electronic health record interpretation. The second new model is MedSiglib, a lightweight image and text encoder for classification, search and related tasks. So MedLigzip is the same uh, is based on the same image encoder that powers 4 billion and 27 billion MedGemma models. So this is exciting. Uh, this MedLig uh, MedSiglib is a 4 billion parameter lightweight image and text encoder. So you can use it for various tasks like classification, medical image classification, and things like that. So with MedGemma and MedSiglib, you can do various tasks. So they have this nice table over here about what model for what purposes, right? Let's go to that directly. So Medlic, uh, MedSiglib is for, you know, image-based input. It's an image encoder, right? So you want to perform tasks like medical image classification or image retrieval on radiology, skin pathology or ophthalmology images. This is your suggested model. But you, if you have image-based input and text-based input, multi-model, truly multi-model, then you can use MedGemma 4B, right, which can be used to fine-tune generative medical image applications like medical question answering or report generation. Or you can build generative applications for on-device or low or other low compute budget applications. That is your MedGemma 4 billion model. You have MedGemma 27 billion text model, which is achieves the best possible out of the box performance on text only use cases, right? Then you have MedGemma 27 billion multi-model, which can be used to interpret FHIR based electronic health records. So FHIR stands for fast healthcare interoperability resources. These records are text based, but have unique structure. Electronic health record where data was included in the training of MedGemma 27 billion multi-model only, right? It can also take image plus text input, perform complex multimodal reasoning tasks. It can take image plus text uh, input. You can use a single model for text and imaging tasks. So this table description, you can look at over here to find out which model is best suitable for your use case. Now, what can you do with this particular MedGemma kind of models? So you can do things like this, right? Where you want to generate a uh, report for an chest X-ray. You can do things like this, where you, if you have an image, you know, and you are asking like, what is this particular image uh, about? So kind of medical question answering. Uh, you can do histopathology things over here, where if you have a slight image or histopathology image, and you are asking the model to explain what it is, provide the most likely condition. So here they have the ground truth also, versus what this model is trying to answer, uh, which is accurate over here in these use cases. But yeah, so MedGemma is actually a model for many such medical use cases. All right. So here they talk about uh, the accuracy of this particular MedGemma 4 billion multimodel. It scores 64.4% on MedQA, which ranks among the best, very small open model. So MedGemma, uh, in an unblinded study, 81% of MedGemma 4B uh, generated chest X-ray reports were judged by a US board certified radiologist to be of sufficient accuracy. So this is quite good, uh, right, compared to original radiologist reports. Um, the 27B and uh, text and 27B multimodel are even more powerful. So the 27 billion MedGemma models are the best performing small open models less than 50 billion on MedQA medical knowledge and reasoning task, just short of three points when compared to DeepSeq R1, built at an approximately one tenth inference cost. So these models are competitive with larger model across a variety of benchmarks, including retrieval and interpretation of electronic health record 
data. So this is what is their image where they're saying they are now releasing this image siglip, okay, which is a encoder uh, image uh, encoder, lightweight image and text encoder, okay, for tasks like classification, image retrieval. Uh, these are the various possible inputs which you can give to Medgemma, which uh, which is all your radiology, dermatology, digital pathology, ophthalmology reports with images and FHIR records, medical text, okay. So they have released this model on Hugging Face. You can go and try it out. I have made a video uh, collab notebook on previous Medgemma 4 billion parameter multimodal model. I have created this video. You can check it out. The collab notebook is available there, right? Uh, the next interesting thing which they showed over here was a, uh, what do you call, a agent, a medical agent to create a pre-visit report. Okay, so they just uh, have this demo on Hugging Face. You can check it out. So what they've um, done is that they've released detailed notebooks for Medgemma and Medsiglip on uh, their GitHub. So you can check it out. Maybe I'll create a video on Medsiglip uh, uh, to try it out, how it works, right? Then they have this particular demo of an application uh, to streamline pre-visit information gathering ahead of a patient appointment. So this uh, app is uh, quite interesting. Uh, this app is available on Hugging Face. You can go and try it out. Let's look at the simulated pre-visit intake demo. So healthcare providers often need to gather patient information before appointments. This demo illustrates how Medgemma could be used in application to streamline pre-visit information collection and utilization. There is a pre-visit AI agent built with Medgemma asks questions to gather information. After it has identified and collected relevant information, the demo application generates a pre-visit report. This type of intelligent pre-visit report can help providers to be more efficient and effective while also providing an improved experience for patients relative to traditional intake forms. There is also an evaluation of the pre-visit report which you can check for quality of the output. So Medgemma is provided the reference diagnosis allowing self-evaluation that highlights both strengths and what it could have done better. That is what they are saying over here. This is just a demo. Uh, for a real world application, you would require a lot of testing, additional development, adaptation, evaluation and all those stuff. So first we need to select a patient over here. So these are some synthetic health records available for these three different personas over here. So for example, uh, let me take this particular Sasha Silva over here. If you click on this, it will actually show you the patient information already available, known things about this patient, okay? Where it says that the condition is asthma, pre-existing condition, the patient name is this, some patient information is present over here, okay? That is a simulator. So Gemini 2.5 Flash will simulate this particular persona who will interact, uh, which will interact with an AI agent built with Medgemma. So neither the simulated persona nor the AI agent have been provided the diagnosis of the current condition which we will select. So for Sasha Silva, let's select flu over here, right? So now it will simulate Sasha Silva reporting to the Medgemma agent about some uh, you know symptoms of flu. And Medgemma will ask questions related to this particular condition, uh, you know, based on the, not related to this condition, but based on what the person is, um, you know, saying as symptoms, it will try to create a pre-visit report. Now let's go into the simulation. Okay, so pre-visit agent is built with Medgemma 27B. It has access to the FHIR information in the EHR and Medgemma is not provided the specific diagnosis flu. Its goal is to gather details about symptoms, relevant history and current conditions, concerns to generate a comprehensive pre-visit report. Okay, so Gemini is provided a persona and information to play the role of this patient simulated by Gemini 2.5 flash. Uh, the, uh, the patient agent does not know their diagnosis, but is experiencing related symptoms and concerns that can be shared during the interview. So this is what they are trying to uh, simulate in this particular demo. And as the conversation develops, Medgemma creates and continuously updates a real-time pre-visit report capturing relevant information. For this evaluation, Medgemma is provided, uh, and after that you can look at the quality evaluation where Medgemma is then provided with the uh, reference diagnosis to evaluate. So let's start this conversation. Thank you for booking an appointment with your primary doctor. I am an assistant here to ask a few questions to help your doctor prepare for your visit. To start, what is your main concern today? I've just been feeling really unwell, like I'm coming down with something. Can you describe the symptoms you are experiencing? Well, I have a fever and I'm feeling hot and cold at the same time. I also have a cough and my throat is really sore. My nose is either running or completely blocked up. And my muscles ache all over. Plus, I have a headache. I'm just so tired, too. Oh, and I've been throwing up a bit and I have diarrhea. When did these symptoms begin? I'd say they started about three days ago. 
Have you measured your temperature? If so, what was it? No, I haven't measured it. I just know I feel really hot and then really cold. How often have you been coughing? It's pretty constant, I'd say. It feels like I'm coughing every few minutes. Is the cough producing any phlegm? If so, what color is it? No, it's a dry cough. I'm not coughing anything up. How severe is your sore throat? Can you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst? I'd say it's about a 7. It's really uncomfortable, especially when I swallow. Have you experienced any shortness of breath or wheezing? No, I haven't. You mentioned muscle aches. Are they worse in any particular part of your body? No, they're just all over. My whole body aches. How many times have you vomited in the last 24 hours? I've only vomited once in the last 24 hours. How many times have you had diarrhea in the last 24 hours? I've had diarrhea twice in the last 24 hours. Have you had any recent contact with anyone who has been sick? No, not that I know of. Have you traveled anywhere recently, outside of your local area? No, I haven't traveled anywhere recently. Have you taken any medications for these symptoms? If so, what and when? No, I haven't. Have you experienced any chest pain or pressure? No, I haven't. Have you noticed any changes in your vision or hearing? No, I haven't noticed any changes in my vision or hearing. Have you had any difficulty urinating or changes in your urine? No, I haven't. Have you had any rashes or skin changes? No, I haven't. Thank you for answering my questions. I have everything needed to prepare a report for your visit. So as you can see over here, there is a, a report which has been generated. This is a pre-visit uh, information collection report, uh, which has all the symptoms, history of present illness, relevant medical history, which is pulled from the EHR, medications from EHR and interview. So this is what uh, it does. So they have also asked Medgemma to evaluate this report. And here they are providing the analysis. Uh, basically, they, pro they are providing the, um, what do you call the condition as flu over here. And then they are doing this evaluation. So the, here they will ask Medgemma to evaluate its own performance. We will provide all the information about Sacha Silva, including actual diagnosis and aspects of condition history not included previously. So it now knows that this person suffers from flu. And based on that, you know, it created the report, right? Now Medgemma is being, the Medgemma agent created the report. So Medgemma is now being asked to evaluate the report. And then it says, you know, it gives helpful facts and it has evaluated and it is giving about you know, what wasn't covered but would be helpful is like objective fever measurement, severity. So some of these informations are kind of missed out in this report. So that is what this evaluation is. So the idea over here is that this demo kind of gives you an idea of what kind of applications can be developed using Medgemma. So this is one of the applications which can be created with Medgemma models. So you can look at all other possible applications also, um, which can be developed with, you know, Medgemma. Uh, applications related to clinical healthcare, right? Um, so this Health AI Developer Foundation model, this collection, uh, this collection is a collection of lightweight open models designed to offer developers robust starting points for their own health research and application development. So for the healthcare domain, these are great models to check out if you're working in this particular domain. They have released their technical report. They have released a lot of notebooks and tutorials which you can check out in their GitHub. Um, the models are available on Hugging Face. Uh, you can check the art out as well, right? They are already doing some trials at different hospitals where, you know, uh, with uh, Deep Health in Massachusetts, USA, they have been exploring Medsiglip to improve chest X-ray triaging and nodule detection. Uh, in Taiwan, in another hospital, Medgemma works with traditional Chinese language medical literature and can respond well to medical staff questions. At TAP Health in Gurgaon, India, they are looking at this, uh, you know, uh, Medgemma superior medical grounding on uh, and its reliability on tasks that require sensitivity to clinical context such as summarizing progress notes or suggesting guideline align adjusts and things like that. So there are different companies who are already working with Google who are trying out these models for different use cases.
So this was a short video on Mid Gemma. So you can go and uh, check out all the links I'll be putting in the description of the video. So you can check out all these links. In my previous video, I have, uh, have a collab notebook where I've explained how you can use Mid Gemma. So you can check out this particular collab notebook as well. Hope the video is useful. See you in another video.